With Association Online, people can go to the front end of your website, they can sign up for a membership, completing their membership application form and paying for it very smoothly and easily. However, some people will need your assistance, for example, if they don't have internet access. So you can complete the membership form for them even though of course it's preferable that they do it and you can do that for them in the back end of the system so in the members area the default view is the members list but even the next view there memberships you can do it there as well because both of those lists have this button here new membership which we're going to click on and that will present us with the beginnings of the application process so the first step is to select which membership type we're applying for I'll just choose the first one and then we're presented with two groups of fields. So we can search for someone if they're an existing user or we can add first name, last name and email address for a new user. Always assume they're an existing user and if they're not then you can very simply um, cut that and paste it in the first name field. Let me show you what happens if you type in details for someone who's in the system already and um, you can see there's this is a search function it's searching the database and you can simply select that person and then click this proceed button however we're not going to do that we're going to sign up Elmo for a membership by putting in his first name surname and email address okay and because we're using the new user fields we use this proceed button down here so what that does it confirms that no user has been found with that set of details and therefore a new user is going to be created. So by just checking first that Elmo didn't already exist in the database we have avoided potentially a duplicate entry so it's worth the few extra seconds it takes to do that. Okay so finally we're presented with our membership application form. Now I have very few fields that are required in this membership application form. You may have almost all of your fields being required here uh, and that's okay. So when you're putting in a date you need to put the date in this particular format including the dashes um, and go about completing the information here. Okay, so I'm not going to complete all of the information, I'm only going to complete what's necessary. Okay, so I'm skipping a lot as you can see here. Now there's a field here for supporting documents, so you can use this uh, for whatever purpose you need. Um, I'm going to use it to upload a resume. It might be a certificate. Um, whatever the case, this field allows your user to upload a document that you can then refer to. So that's my application form complete and at this point I have two choices as an administrator. Two buttons. I can create this membership by taking a payment or simply click the create button. I'm going to click create with payment. So the create with payment button will charge the appropriate amount. Create means that the person is either getting the membership for free or you could perhaps raise a manual order and charge them a specific amount. Um, generally speaking create with payment would be the better option. So what we're asked to do now is enter the billing address information below. All of that is uh, correct. So we can carry on with the um, process. Now we're asked to choose the method of payment. Credit card, direct deposit, check or schedule payments. I'll choose direct deposit. Okay, so scrolling down I click the next payment details button and because I've chosen an offline method of payment direct deposit I'm presented with this message please include your invoice number when making the direct deposit and I can click the submit order button here and this will give me my confirmation page 
the order was successfully submitted, a receipt appears below. And so this is the reference number that I would use when submitting my direct deposit payment. Okay, so the membership's now complete. Scrolling down, we can click on this button to view membership. And to find out the details about how to view membership, or you may prefer to have a look at online sign up now, please see the uh, relevant tutorial there.